I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. Ulster County District Attorney Holly Conright says he will seek the maximum punishment, 25 years to life in prison, for Adela's Cruz, the town of Ulster man convicted of second-degree murder for the strangulation killing of Kingston jeweler Anita Jacobs Royer at her home last February. Cruz is scheduled to be sentenced December 9th. Conright says the maximum should be imposed due to the nature of the crime and because of Cruz's prior violent felony convictions. He was on parole for a past robbery at the time of the murder. Town of Marlboro police have charged a Milton resident in connection with a series of commercial burglaries that have occurred in the past several weeks. 43-year-old David Mahoney faces felony charges of burglary and criminal mischief. Police say he would smash a window, gain entry, then take money or in some cases a cash register. Mahoney faces a total of 16 separate charges. Police say the targeted businesses were in the towns of Marlboro, Newburgh and Poughkeepsie. Plans for the creation of a charter school in Warwick got a chilly reception from among those in the standing room only crowd who attended a public hearing last night. The developing innovative rural thinking charter school would open its doors next fall and organizers say the independently operated school would focus on community-based education and local agriculture and would get a, give area parents a choice in public education. Parents who spoke out said uh, they're worried the charter school would take money away from uh, the Warwick district, while Warwick uh, Superintendent Ray Bryant warned the creation of a charter school would force the closing of another district school. The State Board of Regents is expected to vote on the proposal in December. It's been a much discussed project in the town of New Paltz, and Ulster County Executive Michael Hine was in town today to unveil a $2.4 million infrastructure project for South Putt Corners Road that will include paving work and the paving of shoulders for a mile and a half long bicycle path on the stretch of road between routes 299 and 32 in New Paltz, section that includes New Paltz High School. The work will be done in 2015. Hine says the $2.4 million project will improve vehicular safety in that area. Federal funding will cover 80% of the cost, 15% will come from the state, and the remaining $125,000 will be covered by local matching grants. Bail was set at $20,000 for the SUNY New Paul student charged with attacking a woman near the campus over the weekend. 17-year-old Christian Infanti of the Bronx was taken into custody and charged with first-degree sexual abuse and felony unlawful imprisonment. Police say Infante approached a woman from behind, placed his hands over her mouth and forced her to the ground behind a bush. The victim was able to fend off the attacker and her screams alerted witnesses who helped by providing a description of the attacker. Demolition continues at the site of a former commercial landmark in Walden. The exterior of what used to be the throughway food market is currently being torn down. Interior demolition began back in August. It's all to make way for a new 35,000 square foot Hannaford supermarket at the site off Oak Street. Hannaford officials are planning to start construction in late fall or early winter, with a store opening expected sometime next summer. Several businesses, including a throughway liquors and throughway sporting goods, continue to operate at the shopping center complex. The hope is its uh, complex security features will cut down on counterfeiting. The Federal Reserve today began putting their new $100 bill into circulation. Benjamin Franklin's picture is still prominently displayed, but the front of the new bill includes a bluish-purple 3D security ribbon, and when the bills move, the Liberty Bell appears to change color and scroll down the ribbon along with the numeral 100. The $100 bill has uh, been the most counterfeited note outside of the United States. And it was called a community baby shower. The event held Saturday at the Delano Hitch Activity Center in Newburgh and sponsored by the Hudson Health Plan. But it was more than just uh, gifts and prizes. It was held to inform parents on uh, ways to protect their health and the health of their newborns. Those who uh, came with their babies or babies on the way learned about the importance of regular prenatal checkups throughout pregnancy. And officials with Hudson Health Plan were also spreading this message. Let nature take its course. They say too many risky cesarean section births are being scheduled. 
simply for the convenience of mothers and medical professionals. There's more sunshine in the forecast for tomorrow. It'll be mostly sunny Wednesday for much of the day, although some clouds will move in later in the day. The highs will be in the upper 60s. Thursday will be partly cloudy with temperatures reaching the middle 60s. You'll get the news and information to help start your day by reading the Times Herald Record. And breaking news is just a click away right here at Record Online. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.